Good morning, everyone, uh, to the chairs and the ranking member. Thank you for having me. Uh, unfortunately, I'm pleased to be here, of course, but unfortunately, we're here uh, to discuss what I'll describe as a job-killing regulation proposed by the Department of Labor. And I, along with my colleagues on the dais, are increasingly concerned about more proposals like this. It seems to me that we're doing nothing but chasing people out of this state. Let me highlight a few uh, statistics, if I may. Since 2011, the national average for job growth has been 11%. New York City has grown at a whopping 16%. Upstate job growth, a paltry 2.7%. The city of Binghamton, the largest city that I represent in Senate District 52, has lost jobs, negative 3.7. 17 and 18, the Tax Foundation ranked New York State 47th in the nation in terms of our business climate. And as Senator Tedisco said, 190,000 people have left this state in just the last year. And over the last six or seven years, nearly a million people, a million people. So what I say today is despite what we all see on very well-produced, flashy, expensive uh, television commercials, these statistics to me paint a very clear picture that New York State is not open for business. And I feel very comfortable saying that. Uh, I'm new to Albany, as you well know, uh, but one thing is very, very clear to me, that yet again, out-of-touch bureaucrats uh, in Albany are putting forth job-killing regulations that will do nothing except tighten the death grip around the necks of business owners who are struggling on Main Street, New York. These particular regulations add on to the already large burdens of an increasing minimum wage uh, and the unknown impacts of paid family leave. And almost every industry, as we well know, will be impacted <coughs> by these regulations. Child care, which depends on flexible schedules due to state mandated staffing ratios, hospitality, food service, manufacturing, and health care. UHS, United Health Services, is a health care provider uh, in the southern tier. And this particular proposal will double their on-call expenses. Uh, they'll need to pay nearly $2 million a year. That is a staggering number. And the negative impacts of these regulations, in my opinion, uh, will also affect employees. Less, less flexibility from their employers, less employees per shift, and fewer part-time jobs. Uh, in my humble opinion, this is not the time for new regulations. And I, too, along with many of my colleagues, are incredibly disappointed that the Department of Labor <coughs> isn't here today. So I sincerely hope that the DOL pays attention uh, to the issues that are outlined today and gives some real thought to if this is the best course of action for the people of this great state. So let me end on this. I have long said that it is not government's responsibility to create jobs. It is government's responsibility to get out of the way and let businesses uh, create jobs and grow a stronger economy. This regulation will do one thing, in my opinion, kill jobs and kill opportunities. And I too want to thank the business owners who are in the room uh, for gutting it out on Main Street, New York, for all the years that you have, because we all know that New York is not the best place to do business. And um, Senator Funky, I agree. I think the governor uh, should be putting the people of the state of New York before his politics. Thank you to both the chairs.